save it for the mic. My whip, bulletproof. I stash it on the roof. I come with them big boys to us. Yes, we are here. We are here. We are here. Yeah, man. Back in the back in the saddle. Everybody's chill. It's yes. it's another hot day in America. And we keeping it hot because you know we got a nice topic for y'all. We're gonna be talking about interracial dating today. I don't know mm. who's ready for that, but I'm ready. I, you know, I think I got a few pointers on this. I don't know, how y'all feel about that? Mm. Interracial Pointer. dating. Been there, done that. Right. I, I, I definitely got a. Oh, I'm sorry, Bear. What's it? I, I sh- probably should excuse myself from this topic. I am the least skilled on this subject. Really? I am. Hmm. The, yes. Hmm. You be yeah. with them yellow girls, so that's halfway there. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, I had a half and half. Yeah, I had a half and half. Had okay. Half. Okay. He 50 50 today. And, 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 and after saying that, I got to go introduce everybody. I'm Renaissance, but I was 50 50. And. Uh, uh, Renaissance man, as as I talked to my frat brothers out in the Sigma world, and I'm here with my boy Black Sand, aka aka and aka D Skittles. Call me Mister Chocolate Swirl tonight. <laughs> Chocolate D-na- Swirl, D nasty. <laughs> Uh, we we gonna find out all about that <laughs> in this conversation. And, and my boy Bareface is a builder. Oh, you already know the pelvic tickler in the building, Daddy Dynamite. Do it all day, do it all night. <laughs> You got something to say? Save it for the mic. Move. There we go. Save it for the mic. And Nike in this thing. What's up, Nike? Nike Newell, a.k.a. Big Cat, a.k.a. Pressure Makes Diamonds, a.k.a. CB. CB it is. Hey, man. And I got a blast for that ass. And I know y'all heard this already, but I don't care. (laughs) Give him the ugly face. Mmm. I Renaissance on this day am pissed. This is July eighth. Yes, we we do pre record. I'm pissed. What you mad about? I'm calling for for a ban and a boycott of electronic arts oh. the gaming company. Oh, I will hell not. No. You, you, you can do what you want. You went there. I ain't you can go. do this what book. you want. Here we go. Why I will. I will not be buying another electronic arts game until they make this correction. For mm. those that don't know, that's EA Sports. Yeah, that is EA. He finna, he finna be playing NCAA Live. What, what they do, Ren? What, what, what's going on in the, in the EA They coming community? out with a college football game with no HBCU teams. Uh, Zero. And in the argument I had with Black Sand over this. Oh, uh, Lord. He brought up something that 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 really opened my eyes to it even further. He said, "Don't you have FIFA?" And I was like, "You know what? You're right. I didn't buy FIFA. And the only way Dude, I'll get black. this game, anything uh-huh. they get, I get that's got EA is gonna have to be free, just like I got FIFA. But there's no African teams, no African leagues in FIFA. There's no. lots of African leagues in Africa that play soccer." They're great soccer players. Matter of fact, where do you think they pull they they players from to go to to Europa and 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 Paris and uh, they pull from all over the world. But they got representation in Brazil. They got representation in Venezuela. They got representation all over the world. But they don't have no African leagues, as if they they don't have any soccer teams there. So let me ask you this: if 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 the new college football game had an HBCU team on there, I would have it. I would already be pre-ordered. But who would, would, would you one team up? No, you want to know why? And, and I wish I had this pulled up. But when when I when I found out, I said, "How many NFL Hall of Famers went to HBCUs?" There's a long list, and I and I'm just gonna say two. Three right now. Shannon Sharp, Jerry Rice, Walter Payton. Mm-hmm. Just to name a few. Eddie Robinson. Eddie Robinson. Uh, Steve, Steve McNair. McNair. Yeah. We could go on and on and on. There's linemen, linebackers, wide receivers, quarterback. Tabaris Jackson was in the NFL. That's Alabama State University. No, you can't just do one. No. And you know what? You know what further upset me is MLB went and did this amazing thing this year. And they included for the first time the Negro Leagues of Baseball. And <laughs> not only did they do that, but they gave them outstanding ratings. 
What were what were the ratings, Black? You have the game. What were the ratings? I mean, what are they all, looking of them, all of them are like in the nineties. All of them are in the nineties. That's because statistically, on paper, they're all better than their counterparts. That is true. They 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 opened the record books to the Negro leagues, and almost had to rewrite them bitches. They did rewrite them. They, they they had to give up some of them leading spots to some of those players, which is mm-hmm. which is outstanding. I mean, and that's just being honest to what people gave. You would not have the NCAA the way it is now if they had not played an HBCU and lost that first game when when. When uh, when the Bo Bryant, what's his name is from from Alabama, he man. said, "I need me one of them." Man, hey, you can't argue that. You know, so, you know, you know. Bear was at Kentucky before Alabama, and they didn't let let black folks on the team. That's that's the point I'm making. And then check this out. Let me add one more. Let me add one more nugget. Kennesaw State founded nineteen. What was it? 1977? 67? Uh, Jackson State founded 1877. Kennesaw State has a 10-year-old football team. They're in the game. Jackson State has a very, I don't even know what year it was. All I know is it wasn't Jackson State when, when Walter Payton went. It was Jackson College. That's how old That's how old a football team is, and they're not in the game. You tell me, why is this fair? So NCAA got some shit to do. They need to take care of this. Well, so if, I do, this. Well, if well, I got to fix this too, be I just look at this. This this make it even. What FIFA got to fix this too? You know, one play FIFA after seeing this. Now Uh-oh. you talk about black teams. Nigeria won that World Cup six flipping. They got as much rings as MJ. Nigeria got as much World Cup rings as Michael Jordan, but yet they're not in FIFA. Mm. You see Morocco what I'm saying? Too. Morocco has six six rings as well too. This and those are those are national teams. But so, this is this is my problem with FIFA is that they have different leagues represented in there, and they're all European leagues, with the exception of I think Brazil and Venezuela, and that is a problem. Africa is a huge continent with hundreds of countries, and I don't know hundreds, but like fifty. It's a lot of countries, and they ain't, ain't none of them in there. I don't want to give know. a number and I'd be right. I don't know about twenty four. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, African team here: uh, Egypt, Cameroon, Ivory Coast, Senegal, Nigeria. Those are national teams. Facts. 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 Right. South Africa has a huge soccer league. But are they recognized by FIFA? They used to be in there. Yeah. And they, you win the World Cup, B. What did I tell you? You. <laughs> You know what the World Cup is? Nigeria has a league. Ghana has a league. They're represented in Ted Lasso. How come Ted Lasso can get it right and freaking FIFA can't? You know what I mean? This is just nuts. EA has a serious problem. I don't know what they're doing. I'm pretty sure they got some black employees, but we're we're not being represented in there. What league. happened to the all-inclusive EA? Yeah, Those what's going on? Right now. Your diversity, equity, inclusion officer needs to be fucking fired. Mm. <laughs> Now, you know, we did look at this earlier today. Um, and then it's, and, you know, because we were trying to find what was the reasoning uh, behind EA not allowing HBCUs uh, into the um, initial release of the game. So, a couple of things we did find. One, I think they, they said that they're not an FCS team, meaning that they can't play for a championship. Uh, two, initially they're not going to be in it, but it's a possibility that. With a download or update, you know how they sometimes they update the game. A possible they DLC. Add, yeah, they may they may add it in there. And then the last thing that we found was that uh, even though they don't have them in there, you know, if you want, you know, they have like a dynasty mode where you can create your own team, your own roster, uniform, school, whatever. You know, if you want to throw a Hampton or a we ain't Jackson. gonna give you them black boys. But you can make <laughs> them up if you want. You can make them up yourself. You know, so that's kind of shady. You know. We ain't gonna put them in the game, but you know we we'll give you the luxury to add them yourself if you want to. Florida but, State almost an HBCU. Florida Say that again. State, Florida State's almost an HBCU. Why? What? I'm curious as to why. I have a tidbit about that, but why you say that? Let me hear your tidbit. No, you brought it up. Why? Why you say that? I mean, I just I think they just represent a lot of the black population down there in Florida. Yeah, you can say that. So about Florida a lot State of- and FAMU is the same application. 
I, I I was I was recruited by family. It was on the application at that time in the nineties. It said Florida State on one side, family on the other. See, that's kind of like UAB being the same thing as Alabama. No, 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 no. That's the same school. So what you mean? University of Alabama has multiple campuses. It just happens to be University of Alabama of Birmingham. You have University of South Alabama in Mobile. Right. Yeah. But it's but it, it's but it's a different mascot. It's 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 a, yeah. it's a completely different thing. But it's the same school. It's the same school. They have the same president. Mm. Just like UCLA and UC Santa Barbara, yeah. UC Berkeley, UC yeah. Still or that was back then? That's just how it's set up. Okay. Yeah. Their board members are the same. They just have different campuses. Penn State's the same way. Penn State has 19 campuses. And they have different teams or whatever. Now all of them, all of them are D1. Uh, UCLA is the same way. Yeah. that That's the same school. But I, I, my argument is not again. I'm, I just want to be clear. As much as y'all know how I feel about SEC and all that, my argument is not against those schools at this moment. You know how I feel about those schools. But my argument's not against it. My argument is with the NCAA, who represents everybody, including the SWAC and the MEAC, who I think should be included. But it's also with EA as well, because this is just automatic. And and the fact that they had these schools in previous years, because they were in there. Yeah, they were. They definitely were in there. That makes me yeah. think it may not be a race thing. Maybe it's just a data compatibility. I mean, yes, they should have been included, but you know, when you when you looking for to, to to scrape data and time save, you're gonna take away your least common denominator. So if I wanted to go with the legacy team that had had uh, Walter Payton in college, who I'm gonna pick? If I want to yeah. go with the legacy team that had Jerry Rice in college, who I'm gonna play with? They're not there. I'm and then by you saying the least common denominator, well, I guarantee you, that? if we decided to boycott, like Ren said, I bet you they put us in that game. Oh, they'll find they'll find that real quick, and I and they're they gonna pay them players next too. Update. In the next update, I'm gonna I'm tell you something else that probably played a part, Nike. These image and likeness agreements, they got yeah. to pay them. They got to play them guys. Yeah, they definitely got to come. And so leaving those black players out, that that. That's a whole nother economic economic change. That's a whole nother shift in economic. Automatic. Reaganomics. <laughs> it's even worse than that, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, that's my that's my blast. Anybody got a buzz or a blast they want to go with? That's a good one, man. I ain't know you want to go with with that tonight. Yeah, I can't. I, yeah. I, I'm oh, oh, and, and one more thing. I want the game. I'm taking a hit. I want the game. <laughs> what if I pay for it? You'll go ahead and you'll play it in. If it's free, see, if it's free. See, no, uh, how if is. it's he free, I'll take he, it. He ain't real enough to boycott it, boycott it. <laughs> Get it for he'll, free. He'll, he'll give him the views and the plays and the streams, but not $40. He don't want to get it's the money. $70, dog. He don't want to get the money to him. It's and it's, With the HBCU content download. Mm. Hey, they, ain't, they they have not said that they had an HBCU download. It, this is what people were speculating. Y'all made this clip go viral, please. <laughs> yeah, because I want I want I want to buy EA's new college. You know, I was on. I was like, yeah, the new twenty twelve. Oh my god, I can't wait. And then I was like, is they coming? What's the roster? And I looked. I was like, wait, ain't no FAMU, no North Carolina A and T, no Jackson no. State, no Alcorn, no Grambling. The winning is coaching history is not there. What I got something for you though. What if they what if they they release the game, right? And then part of a DLC pack for ten dollars, you can download HBCUs. Would you be in then? Well, you got to pay for the, the HBCUs though. Why well, they got to be paid? You know, like, they, they made they they could they could easily spin it that way. What if all what if they left out the HBCU teams because the the skills the 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 skill position scores would skew the t- the statistics too badly? They so were like that before that though. That's not an excuse. Was they were they like they had them low rated when they was in the game the first time. So I'm not even mad at that. They just should be represent representation matters and not having them in there. And you got children playing this game. Look, what's Jackson State? I've been playing college all this time. They have a football team. What the fuck? That's what happened. You become invisible, out of I, sight, out of mind. I, I dis it. Yeah, that's 
That's that's for we need to have a show about does representation matter. That's I, it. I, I I agree. I think I, I think that I needs think to be on the matters. list, Black. We need to add it to the list. I don't, I don't, I don't think it matters. So, so show on representation of NCAA or what? what, what just representation, representation period. period. In life. In life. I could touch a lot of different departments. Yeah, no, just representation I period. Think I think we all agree. So no, represent, I, I representation. That's what we're gonna call that. You say you disagree? Yeah, I don't think it matters. You don't think representation matters? Save it, save it really. for that. Okay, save yeah, we'll save it because I yeah I could dive into that right now. Let's move on, man. Let's move on. Let's close that I out. know. I know. Let's I'm say not gonna... that. Let's say that. Let's say that convo. <laughs> Let's say that was a good try, though, Nike. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> save it for the <laughs> mic for later day. Hey, let's uh, let's crack open this big white egg. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, before we get into that, uh, I just want to say that I'm wearing a beautiful shirt that I really like. This shirt, it's, mm-hmm. it breathes well. Breathe. It's really hot outside too. This is a sports shirt. It breathes well. I've had this for two years. Black's wearing that same for the mic shirt. Yeah, this is from Endless Custom Creations. <laughs> is it? Yeah. <laughs> no, from no Sometimes you just gotta send him a blank. And he'll put it on there for you. Hey, I kind of like that tie dye though, man. That's not that's 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 not bad. Oh, that's you hard. didn't you didn't make that? You had one of your workers make it. That oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> endless C creations. This is endless C creations dot com. Go there, get your own design. And if you you know want some swag from Save It for the Mic, it's in there too. Endless C creations dot com. That's one of our sponsors, and we're also sponsored by Selfie Box DCH Marketing. And this is a Wazi Group production we'll be you know what we'll be right back we'll take a little break and uh come in with our with our topic we'll be right back we back hey y'all we in here man everybody energized you know what before we do anything i want y'all to like share follow subscribe join us Email us. You got questions? Send us an email. You can hit us at contact us at savefortheMike.com. And guess what, cash man? We about to jump. Yeah. Oh, don't forget about that cash app. It's save for the mic. Dollar sign. Save it for the mic. And so is our Patreon. And our Patreon members get exclusive on their hits. So if you see a Patreon, I'm gonna hit you up. And you know we hadn't said anything because y'all ain't gave us nothing. Come on with it. Five dollars to do it. Spread it for the mic. Save it. Yeah. For the piece. mic. Ooh. Oh, uh, uh, Brian wants to do a try on haul. Hey, so, <laughs> so, so, so we talking about interracial dating today. Man, mm. I don't know how y'all feel about this. Uh, don't tell on yourself, man. Hey, man, <laughs> this is me. You talk about there ain't nothing I can say that ain't already been said. So, let me let me give this disclosure. Yeah, go right ahead. The things that are going to be said tonight are things that have happened in the past. Nothing to incriminate us. Nothing to get us in trouble. Dang. These are all accounts from the past. Nothing. Occurred. If there's an account at all. I ain't oh, boy, I have to go ahead and lay out his disclaimer right quick. <laughs> all right. I ain't know y'all boy dipped in them or no. <laughs> uh, but see, also, and I will say this really quick. A lot of people, when they say interracial dating, they instantly think a black man and a white woman. Yeah. They don't think they don't think a black a black woman and a white man. They don't think an Asian woman and a black man. They don't think a uh, Asian woman and a white man. They don't think, uh, yeah, they don't think a, a Latino and a white man. They don't they don't think any of that. So why is that? Well, wait, so wait, 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 wait we before we when we say interracial, dating yeah, before we answer that, let's specify what dating is too. Because if I ain't met your mama and daddy, did we were we really dating? If I paid for your if I, if, I, if, I, if I pay for your food and drinks more than twice, we're dating. <laughs> so so if, you if no money, food and drink, you spend no money, money has been spent, it's not a date. No, we're homies. Okay. okay. Or we just met. Yeah, so, right. if, if no money's been spent, no time's been spent, we just we just kicking it. Like if I if I know you at work. Or I know you through a friend of a friend, and we just kick it while we out together. We just homies. Okay. All right. Well, then in this case, I oh, that's not true. I have a, I have a few in my dating pool. That's the one who took you back to the dungeon, right? 
Mm. No, that was a black chick. <laughs> mm. so, I was shocked. So I want to, I want to, I want to just pose my question, and then we'll start with yeah, go ahead with 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 a with a backdrop with the history because this is not nothing new. So my question is like, why is it always a black man and a white woman, and why is it always such a negative thing? Mm. Okay. I understand the his the history behind the black and white thing is, I've heard is the largest talk, problem. So don't say nothing crazy. You what? I heard your wife talk. I know how she feels about this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, so, that that history that history is 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 detrimental to to the entire conversation. Honestly, most a lot of black men found their asses burned and hung back in the day. Because of something a white woman said about them, we mm-hmm. could we could start that off. A lot of a lot of a lot of white women, a, a lot of black women found themselves pregnant because Massa couldn't control Massa. themselves. Yeah, went down there in the slave quarter. So, so, who so who, we, who we, offered to who offered to think that there was any control? Nobody. Offered. Nobody. Oh, okay. Nobody. nobody, nobody. Yeah, there was it, no it, control. It's not the control part, but it's the fact that you hate us and you demonize us and and, and you say. And this is just one side of the argument. You say, you know, so many negative things about the black race, but secretly, you stealing off. You stealing off in the night. You in yeah. the cookie. You in the cookie jar. So you're a hypocrite. You're, you're a racist and a hypocrite. You trying to get that? Deal. Absolutely. So absolutely. So the, I mean, that, and that's just the first question that I wanted to pose, and maybe just let the listeners think about why is that the first thing we think about. And if we think about the history, if we think about Cleopatra and Mark Antony, that's interracial relationship. It definitely was. He was Italian, and yeah. uh, if we if we if we think about half of half of the marriages and rulers from from France to Spain and 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 and, and, and all that, that's interracial relationship. Oh, if, well, no, no, it those is. were European. No, they were white. They were Caucasian. J- just. <laughs> they were Caucasian. We're not talking about inner country relationships. They were cousins, actually. Not okay. And yes, I'm gonna give you some of that. So, like, yes, some Spaniards. But were but to offer you to give you a solution to what you just said, there was three black queens of England. Who? I don't know their names. I just know they existed. No, there's I'm, three. If you say some names, you don't threw that out there like that. Oh, I'll look it up. You hit, hit, Nike you, gonna you, fact you. check me. Nike hey, gonna I fact check me. This though, uh, while you look that up, I just think when it comes to the slavery part, because I think you had asked the question about why is it that is when we take interracial dating, we, we automatically assume black and white. It, I think it, the slavery piece does have something to do with it, and at the same time, it, it was almost like it was forbidden. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't touch this. You don't touch that. But at the same time, that curiosity, they like, I want to touch that. See what it's about. And I think it's like that on both sides, though. I think so. That's why I think, personally, it's always related to, like, a black and white thing. Oh, you're talking about in modern day? Mm Because I'm pretty sure that slave didn't want that white guy on her. Here go one. You got a black queen called Queen Charlotte from 1744 to 1818, wife of the English King George III. Mm -hmm. Queen Clamor, though. Oh no, they painted her white. She right like here in history. Music. She right here in history, so they can't yeah. hide her. It's public knowledge. What she looked like. Got and that's it. not the only country that did that. Spain has them. The Moors Moors were revered. Moroccan Moroccan mm-hmm. leaders were revered. Sure. The you know, store mm-hmm. there was a question to why all the noses and features were chopped off of a lot of the statues and and things like that in antiquity, like in Egypt and land like that. Like the Sphinx, the nose didn't wear off. Somebody chopped that nose off. That would be the Greeks and Romans that did that. Who are also yeah. not white. What? It's Greece. I mean, it's Europe. I mean, that. I mean, it's it's, it's a brown white. Like if you. Yeah, you know yeah, why? No, no, no. There's an answer to you have, that. You have Greeks that are brown and you have Greeks that are white. Do you know why? Because Look up Hannibal of Barca. I know who he's I know who he is. That's why they look the that, way they that look. That was a he, conquest of Africa, though. No, no, no. That was a conquest of 
all of Southern Europe. From he walked all the way around France and came down Rome to conquer Sicily. He conquered all the way down. And when they did that happened over years. When they did that, they they left they semen. That's why they look the way they look. So and and that's another thing. Like Carthage, Africa. Egypt, Africa. It might be in the in, in northern Africa, but it's hard to to say that these people are not black. And and, and, and present day Egyptians don't claim black. And that's okay because they see the word black as something else, as, mm-hmm. as more than your skin color. They see black as a social class. Right. But, but the race is still there. Like you're, this, you're still, you're still brown. Well, I don't want to, I don't want to confuse, and we like, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but I don't want to confuse those conquerors with the Nubians and the Moroccans. The Moors, they think have gone extinct. They were just ran out of northern Africa and they went south. Okay, they the car the people who ran Carthage, Carthaginians were Moors. They had all of northern Africa and they eventually lost. When 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 Hannibal conquered Italy, Rome had already conquered Carthage. They, they saw them coming and they took their armies and they conquered Carthage. After that happened, he didn't have they didn't have a home to go. When they got back to Carthage, it was already in ruins. So they got routed. That whole species of people went somewhere else. And this other people came in. The Persians came in and they conquered all of Middle East, what we call Middle East now, which is Northern Africa and and the rest of Northern Africa, which is where, why you see a different shade of people there now. And they all made it together and they're kind of all the same family now, but that's what happened. In in a um, nutshell, I'm not, I'm not being factual to 100%. Uh, I, I would like to say... um. What the fuck? Any of that got to do with some interracial dating? It, this is we're talking about <laughs> interracial <laughs> dating. Right. We're talking about the history. Yeah. Just, 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 so, just so if you've just given all that history of interracial copulating and breeding, raping, mm-hmm. marrying, whatever, conquering, you want to call it, colonizing. Yeah. Yes, and 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 if black people were so fucking despicable, you wouldn't even waste your time on a rape. You wouldn't waste right. your time on putting the baby on her if you thought these motherfuckers were just so dirty and despicable. It says worse about you that you would say that and then do that. That curiosity right. of that forbidden fruit. But, well, but then to... Do you that? know that in the those same early time, well, after Egypt, this is well after Egypt, but those same people that we're talking about, do you know what they used to do to the tombs when they found mummies and stuff? They used to eat them bitches. Which uh, is- right, my boy know his history. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why we... That's <laughs> disgusting. That's why we don't have mummies. We don't have Former mummies. black emperors. Yes. Mummies, are, mummies are so rare because they used to dig them up and eat them. That's yep. terrible. You know that's how sick you got to animal. be to eat a yeah. corpse that's been dead for God knows how long? That's thousands to- of years. That's animalistic. Panama don't even do that. They got food vultures Man. turned down. I seen flies don't eat all this shit. <laughs> Eating a dead carcass. Wrapped in, yeah, in parchment paper. year old corpse. And convince everybody else. That's a good yeah. idea. Let's all do so, it. All right. uh, yeah. We could go yeah. real deep into this ancient world, but but but, but, but knowing that throughout history but knowing throughout history that that interracial dating was sought out because you don't marry a woman as the king of England unless she has some type of royalty in her, right? So just knowing that that that, that happened and then you look at today well, after the, the atrocities. The, prince, the, 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 the queen of England you were talking about was black through her Portuguese ancestry. That's why I told you. They, no, 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 no. The three that I was talking about were Moors. Um, okay. Yeah, they were more. Okay. So to bring our topic back into the current day, the fact that this has been going on for so long, all around the world, forever, and I understand that it's not as common in places like a Russia or you know a Brazil where you have a really big number of one population. We don't have that here in America. And so... 
a lot of times it, dating ends up being a product of your environment. Yes, that's right? the way I was going to you know, go with they, it. You 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 when date you people who you work with. You date mm-hmm. people who you go to school with. You date people who you see out. And if you only see one kind of person, that's who you're around. You know, it's not it's not like you're unattracted to another person, but that's just what you see. So it's what you know. But what if you're in Atlanta? And that's that's different. Why it, why why do you need this? That's why I mm-hmm. asked it. Why do you need an excuse if that's what you're attracted to? I don't think you need. No, I'm just excuse. saying, whatever you're attracted to, if you can't find it in Atlanta, you living in on that bus. I think one and and I I don't I do not want to step on any toes. I do not want to say anything out of pocket, but I think one of the real issues why there is an issue with interracial dating is because black women feel stepped over. We'll be right back. Black women feel like I deserve a hardworking black man. Why is he going after white women? I deserve him. Well, you say that's a sense of entitlement. That's a double-edged sword you swing in there, no? Because no, how many I mean, sisters have turned down the fellow who they feel job ain't good I enough? was just about to say, yeah. yeah see, but you, and that's they that's don't feel I'm like saying. he going to give them that lifestyle that she thinks she deserves. Right. Or that Ooh. financial stability. And even one, one more point that I don't necessarily agree with, but I heard recently, is that a male with a white woman doesn't feel like he has to be as hyper-masculine as he does with a black woman. You have some people that, that just like just, I don't know where you even get them figures from. Like what the hell? Because everybody, like, just, that's like saying every interracial relationship operates the same. That's Once like it's saying, a black guy and it's, it's a white woman is going to have these parameters. Like, but it is very true that a, a, a black male can be a little softer in an interrelate in an interracial relationship than in a relationship with a black woman that she I wouldn't would. accept. You're saying right. more like more softer towards the towards the woman because I'm just thinking like no no I just mean softer in his masculinity. So yeah, like that's how maybe he maybe he with. listens to like Ice Spice. Maybe he maybe he does Pilates. Maybe he you know maybe he does go and get the Starbucks. That shit white women like. No. But how many women, how many black women, women, women like Starbucks? Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I know. I know you just using an example. No, how many black, white women black, love diet Negroes? Come on, man. You got too many white women love a diet Negro. They don't go in the hood for no Rodney or Tyrone. They won't. They want the diet Negro. But and and, and that's what I'm saying. The black women who th- <laughs> may, may think the diet Negro is a little too zesty. They're like, I need a real yeah. Negro. I need a tough yeah. dude. You know, they don't. They don't. They don't yeah. want to do who watch anime. They don't want to do who play Call of Duty. They want to. They want a street nigga. They want a nigga who, whatever, whatever. You know, and and that's not to say, you know, there's a famous quote that's like, not all, all black men are not a monolith. Okay, black right. women are not a monolith either. So let's right. put that out of the way. I love black women. I think black women are beautiful, sexy, but like it's just not the same. And so when somebody asks me my preference of a woman, I'm gonna say beautiful. I have I have a preference on an attitude. I have a preference on body. I have a preference on. How you act. I don't really have a preference on skin color. I'm glad you said attitude first because that is key. Newt. Big key. <laughs> Just throwing that out there, big, man. Big key. And not big everybody's key, gonna give you the same attitude. And not everybody can deal with that. It takes it's some cats, it actually is a turn on to get a girl with a little feistiness. I'm I'm like that. I like feisty. I like somebody that's willing to fight with me and we're gonna go toe to toe sometimes. I'm cool with that. But everybody don't and I was about to say this. Some cats just like easy. And that's just the way it is. I think, you know, to go back to your point, B, you know, even you say uh, some Caucasian women may date that male that's a little bit softer. Maybe, you know, they are curious. And I keep going back cu- cu- to curiosity because I think that's what sparks it all and attraction. But maybe they're curious about dating outside their race. And they want something that's, you know, it's not too much. You know what I'm saying? They don't want somebody that's too much dug into the trenches. They want somebody, you know, that's kind of reserved, kind of laid back, someone that they can possibly deal with. So, so I, I get what you're saying. 
So you're saying they go for like a light skin brother first before they go for the West? <laughs> Why you be light skin? Start with a Puerto Rican first, and then then work your way up to. But, the- <laughs> but this is the other thing: interracial date don't necessarily mean it's a white woman. It could be, you know, Asian, Puerto Rican, exactly. Spanish, and Hispanic. I, and I think yeah. it's so unfair that we just categorize it as a black man and a white woman, and well, because, but, but see. You don't see many uh, Mexicans date interracially. They got Mexico. What does that mean? They got in Mexico, is a bunch of Mexicans. You I have know, black Mexicans. Like, you have I'm people black as us in Mexico. Well, and they dating, they dating in Mexico. I'm talking about they still America. dating other Mexicans it's even though they're dark skinned. They America. speak of the colorism too, though. There's still a divide over there. Okay, so talking okay, about, I, just stop, I live in just stop, I live in a melting stop. pot. I, I hear you. I hear you. I got you. I live in the melting pot. My daughter goes to school where the black population is probably the smallest population. It's mostly Spanish boys mm. and girls. Mm. Mostly. Ah. When if she want to go visit a friend's house, it's rarely another. Ch- and, and then her only other black friend is her family's from Africa. They're not even African American. She's too black. <laughs> It ain't even that. It's just, you know, it's just, it's just, <laughs> oh, Lord. she's there beautiful. <laughs> it's just, there's not a lot of, a ro- there's even, no middle ground. There's no middle ground for me. <laughs> you know, so, so I'm already, I'm already in a place where I'm like, the chances of my daughter meeting a black kid that she likes is slim. So are you okay with that? I mean, you know that. So as you know, as a parent, where are you on that? You you gonna be receptive or what's up? I'm put it like this: I've seen black uh, Spanish men treat how they treat their women in the worst way, and I've seen them in the best way. I've seen Fabio. I've seen you know fucking Eduardo. drug lord version. Fabio, I've seen Eduardo. Eduardo, yeah, and you know, I don't want Eduardo dating my girl. This is what they don't like how they, if, if he, so, but my daughter ain't gonna pick nobody. No, my daughter ain't gonna pick nobody. That, you that's, don't know what she gonna pick. She, she ain't, ain't gonna pick nobody she that, like until she start liking something. She that, ain't that gonna pick nobody that. that don't treat her like her daddy treat her mom. So that's okay, all that so for you it, at the end of the day. Right. How well so, she's treated. Yeah. yeah. Or what so, color, so, what race. So if he could come home with Justin Bieber. And it mm. don't matter to you as long as she's being treated well. He gonna come home with her with his hand. Nah, you will. started this conversation because by saying, will. "I've heard your wife talk." No, nah, yeah, I don't exactly. think she's gonna do that. Exactly, because I will. <laughs> for you. I, I did. I did bring a girl over to my grandmother's house one time before. Talk about my mama. It did not go over well. No, it did. It did. It did not wait go a minute, over. Wait a minute. We can't just throw that out there. What it happened? Uh, it, was, just, it was a lot. Don't of talk about my mama. It was, I'm not even going to talk about your mama. I'm just playing. I'm going to talk about your mama. It's talk, okay. I'm, Go ahead. I'm going to talk about you my mean? great aunt. Because uh, while it was some talking behind my back, there was a, you better not bring that white bitch back over here. <gasps> T-Bug you said that. Exactly. And you know who's dating a white woman? Her grandson. And you know she doesn't know? Probably not. Oh, Ooh. wow. <laughs> Little Fred. Did you bring it back? The other one. Little Fred just stepped out there? The other one. Oh, I'm, I don't, I'm not surprised by that. Yeah. I'm not great, surprised by that at all. That actually fits him. Exactly. So, like, why? And so, it, that that's his personality of... Uh, uh, and of, that's where his life. environment is again. We're going right back. He, he grew up in that environment. So, so, why is it a bad thing for him to bring home a woman that he loves and hangs out with and they have so many things in common? They just look different. But this is my thing. When it comes to stuff like this, you you jeopardize the the chance to keep and have a full relationship with that person by turning them off to what they naturally are attracted to. Serious, it's the same. It's 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 just weird. You shouldn't do that. And so my thing is, okay, out of out of the four of us, what, what, is there a rainbow coalition up here? Who's what? What do you what do you say? Right. I'm pretty, I'm pretty colorful. You I think I think I think I've been in a few countries. Been in a few countries. Oh, yeah. oh, I get what you're saying. Damn. Oh no, I was not asking you if you were gay, Bear. Oh, and my, I didn't see, ask you was you a rainbow flag no, waving I motherfucker. I said taking shots at Nike for his colorful shirt. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this this nah, his, his for, newly for, sit, for, endless custom creations. You could just always find me. <clears throat> like I don't I don't go too dark 
That's not racist. Just don't do it. I don't, not go, I don't go. I don't go too white. Not racist. I just don't like it. I just. I, I love I'm exotic. A, I, love a, I love a brown woman. I like exotic. It's whether, a, exotic. Whether, whether, whether she's olive. What, what they say exotic. Skin, Everybody whether, on this planet is human. So would you like Martians? What you mean exotic? I like exotic. Like just, just something you don't see every day. You like strange. And even if it's dark. I like I like super super chocolate. What I you love like, that shit. You like octopus negro? What do you mean you, you don't like? Oh, no, let's see. Uh, uh, the, uh, I'm not gonna say I'm done. Hey, you talking in present tense? I need I gotta slow you down. I man. did. Hey, back in the, I said I done. I done. Back that up. Back it up. It's just been you know back in the day. Yeah, no, we gonna stop it. He taking you down that rabbit hole, and you don't even know it. It's been it's been. I it, just say. Exotic is not what you would see where in as normal where you are. Like, I wouldn't consider a, a Mexican chick exotic in California. But she would be in Wisconsin. Yeah. Man, hey, they telling me St. Petersburg gone crazy. Florida, Russia. Mm. Why? Bad tens models, all of them in Russia. Yeah, yeah, that's what uh, that's what they the have like all the art stuff in St. Petersburg. It's a lot of it's a lot of uh, plays and stuff like that. But yeah. I'm scared to go to Russia because everybody go there and get arrested. I that's will say high. they oh, they got a the very different different breed of of Just snow bunny over there. I haven't seen a hair like that. They have a different tone structure. They they look Neanderthal. Very I mean, yeah, very different. I don't, let's not say Neanderthal. Let's just say from the Caucasus. Yeah, <laughs> the Caucasus from from the Caucasus Mountains. Yeah, but the, but if, if you're talking even like uh, and it don't necessarily I'm, I'm I'm just gonna say what you find to be exotic is what you find to be different and still beautiful to you. Okay, so let's have a so we've talked about the past, we talked about the present. I think the future of America is. Brown skin is is brown skin light eyed people. You say think, brown skin light eyed people. Uh, uh, that means that you Christina Milian, uh Aaliyah, uh Sierra, uh Kim Kardashian. Uh I think the future of America Kim Kardashian is one hundred percent Armenian. Armenian is what? That's Caucasian. It's literally it's literally right next to the cockpit. They over mouse. they over there by them Russians, ain't they? I don't I don't think I don't think there That's was an Armenian. Russia, I, I don't think there was an Armenian genocide because they thought all of them was Caucasian. No. Yeah, you, you uh, had, you uh, had, hello, wait, whoa, whoa. What the genocide? What that mean? Wait, Muslim Turkish. That happened in Turkey. They were in Turkey when that happened. Let's, let's, let's get one hundred. And yes, they're Caucasian. They're Christians in a Muslim country. The Armenian, That's what happened to them. The, the Armenian genocide was the systematic destruction of the Armenian people again. and identity in the Ottoman Empire during World War One. The Ottoman Empire, if anything, I, I, was Muslim. Them from this shit, you know? <laughs> I said they were Muslim. You were talking about white people. They were in the... Uh, Armenia is a very old country. It was still Armenia when this happened. Yeah, right. We go again. right. Armenia is right next to Turkey. But to the north of Armenia, to too. the north of Armenia is the Caucasus Mountains. Look at the map. I understand. It's right what there. You're Those are you don't they're 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 Caucasian. They're Caucasian. And That's they moved their asses into Turkey. And they hoarded the wealth of the Turkish people. Turkey the if you look up the history of, I don't know, let's not get it. Let's make this a subject. We might need to make this a topic. Yeah, let's get it. Yeah, yeah, Armenian yeah, genocide. Yeah. We should talk about that. So, 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 so I got an interracial question for y'all. What's that? Light skin, hazel yeah, eyes. I think. Doing what you're saying. But yeah, go back to that. Go back to that. We can give it. We're gonna start talking about the Armenian genocide. This is enough. This is enough for me. Um, most Armenians identify as white. So if you want to identify as white, you can have. But I used to live right there with them. In as, Glendale, far, California. As, as far as what America will look like, because America is so different and we have so many opportunities to interact with different people. We're in, in, in 500 years. I think everybody here is going to be a yellow, you know, brown eyed, blue eyed, little mixed. Kid. That don't, that don't, that don't con, con, 
coincide with genetics because the blackish gene gonna always be dominant. You ain't gonna never get rid of dark skin out here. You're gonna be able you to look at never get rid of dark skin. Black. Yeah. You can look at my children about that. <laughs> but I wanted to ask y'all, right? Do y'all feel that interracial dating is hurting the black economy? If you look at it as a as a as a fact that there's a white economy and a black economy and an Asian economy, yeah. Well, there is. They, they are separate economies. That's why you have. I, a, I, I can't put little Italy and all these other places. I was about to say I can't put the the black economy and the fate of it at the feet of of dating outside your race. I really can't. I got to put that at the feet of the community as a whole, and what caused us to be so fucking divided. I put that on Ice Cube for not putting more money into Fubu. <laughs> What? Yeah, he got all of us with that. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't even from the East Coast. We'll be right back. <laughs> well, did he have opportunity to put money in the food? I, I blame all the rich, rich, wealthy black people for not putting money into black things. Period. Yeah. Now I go with you on that. Okay. On that. On, on when it comes to the black economy, I blame that. I blame Oprah for going over to Africa and building a beautiful school for them and not doing the shit in the U.S. That harmed, what I'm the bunch of, that harmed a bunch of girls. I'm just, I'm just gonna throw a scenario out there. If you got a, uh, that. a interracial couple and one of them are pretty wealthy, uh, let's say the Caucasian person is pretty wealthy, and you know they don't mind giving their spouse, you know, some funding to start a business and maybe in their hometown, and that hometown maybe a black uh, community, and they're able to get a business up and running. I mean, I mean, would that necessarily be a bad thing for? But do you know if crazy? that was the case? But what's the percentage of them that even I mean, follow that? You know? And what's the percentage of people who wouldn't support it when they found out where the the capital came from to start the business? I mean, that's gonna happen either way. You got to keep your business going. You can't focus on who racist and who ain't gonna support your business. You know? What no, I'm no, no, no. I'm just saying. So, if a black man is starting a business in a black community. And the black community finds out that a white woman bankrolled him to do this. Do you feel like they would not do this? I think the I think would care. I think the biggest problem with the whole scenario is that the black man started a business in a black community. They're not gonna support it because it ain't a white business. What? No. Shit me. Yeah, you come from you in a different environment, but around here the black businesses I mean, get support. The, fact. the black businesses I see around here they get support. Maybe not a whole lot. They could get more, but they do get support from the community, dude. Yeah, Especially black people the, love buying from the, from the, those big brands. They don't want that shit they, that you got. That is true, though. Yeah, that they're is trying, true. They're trying to keep. I also think it, it, it depends on what the business is. If you know, if it's a if a, if it's a business that's profitable and. Uh, that supports the community. I don't think it's gonna matter who who really, you know, funded the whole project. I think people just be grateful for that business being open in, in the community. They don't, want, they don't want that good yakking unless it's coming from an Asian man. You know, it. Good, you what? seen you seen a black owned hair store yet? But you see some black barbershops. Yeah, that's also another day for another podcast about how the hair industry was subsidized by the government for Asians, not black people. No, see, nope, it is, nope. bop, bop. same for the mic. No, no, no. I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, I just, you know, I, I just, I just feel like we dropped the ball when it comes to where we put the blame. I think that is a blame that's solely to be put not on us. It's not our fault that we weren't allowed to sell black human hair. That's not our fault. It, 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 it's, it's solely the fault of the government that the only place that we can source human hair is Asia and India. Damn it, Black, I thought you was going to say, please remember to stay on topic. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you was going to take that. I don't have that. I don't have that. No, okay. no, 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 this, no. this is a question. All right. <laughs> black, Black, what, how, what, many, look, how many interracial dating scenarios have you found yourself in? Ooh. I, I made my disclosure. Yes, you did. How uh, many? I've dabbled in at least five. Ooh. Four. 
<laughs> that's a whore. That's not a whore, man. That's five. I, five is, yeah. I thought that was two R's. R's. Five, you know. With two R's. All the dating you did, just five? Just five, man. Oh. I'm, I'm just going off memory. And now, we talking date? about not just white girls. We're talking about all of them. Oh. Oh. See? That's see, Nike just went through that. We just went through that. It's uh, not just white women. It's part of the problem. Yeah. Yeah, five white uh, girls? <laughs> baseball. Hey, man, move on to somebody else, man. How, how, many, how, many, how, many, how many have you dabbled in, Ren? How, how about I was trying to count you? when we started this, and I lost. I, iteration, just iteration. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm above. I'm, I'm in double digits. But but I, that's why I asked. That's why I started off by saying, "Is what what counts as dating?" And you, you said if I took her to Waffle House and spent money no, on some food, I, I, I said I said if we went out twice and I paid for it, one doesn't oh. count. Oh what one oh that? okay. Wait. I'll say about eleven. No, <laughs> we're gonna stick with that. Just just me, we good with that. Or just Half that. Interacting with a See. date or two. He date. said a, a, he date. said two dates. I mean, two dates and you paid public. for it. You've been out in public. Yeah. See, I say date. If I say dating, I look at it like I said this was my girlfriend. And like I said, if I ain't met your mama, I ain't I ain't consider us dating. But but Nike said if you went two dates and you paid for it, then that's an interracial date. A little money. I think so, man. Like if you if you on the schedule to link back up and hang out, and it's is not on your dollar, even if we're not fucking, that's a date. That's tough. Oh, wait and a minute now. You, you, know, gotta you, be, know you got to be doing the fucking. You know what you're going to be doing the fucking. You're trying to line it up. I just, I just, just said, even if we're not, that's the bare minimum. Two okay. two times of us being out and me paying for it. Okay. We're, we're dating. If if you fuck on the first date, we're still said, not but, dating. Yeah. Okay. That don't, I'm just that don't mean we're dating. It takes me down about seven. If if you're going to if you're gonna step out there and still guess over like that and you're not is interacting. What's the whole purpose? <laughs> uh, maybe you're trying to, maybe you're trying to follow that love. Maybe you're but, trying to find your wife. But if I had to go by, you know, race. I ain't like that head shake, but. I mean, you know, I just say. You think you could with, never find a wife in the white population? Why it had to be a white population? Yeah, because that's what you should be getting at. It should. It's outside of my race. Outside of a, you know, so my you race. Do Filipino? You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't Filipino? Think, you don't think you could be married to someone outside of your race? I think I could, but at the time, or that's not what I was thinking about. I wasn't Fili- thinking about Filipino Thai or like Thai long term Thai. Love you a long time. Chinese. <laughs> love you a long time. <laughs> no. Venezuelan. Venezuelan. Native American. Ooh, mm. Which one, black? Which hey, one? Bear, that was not appropriate. You can't do that. <laughs> yep. Yep. Disclose that. that. Check that right now. Hey, I got Indian in me, damn it. Yeah, yeah so did the Redskins. I got Taino Indian. Well, you see what happened to them. They're just the Washington general. I now. got Taino Indian in my blood, damn it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man, that that's that's an incriminating question. There. Not Brazilian. No. <sighs> mm. I'm gonna leave that alone. No, mm. Nigerian, not even Nigerian. No Nigerian. Yeah. S- some some Greece, some Greek, uh, French. I, I love Greek women. I love Italian women. That, yeah, Italians. Oh my God! I don't tell you, and I brought this up earlier. It's just, it's. It's not. It's just the olive skin, the brown olive sun-kissed skin. Such a mm. beautiful color. He's a racist. I'm he's, not just he's going because by the, skin color. No, I see. Mean? I told you, but see, I'm yeah. fucking with you. I, yeah, but see, Israeli. I, 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 Have I you dated an Israeli? Uh, I guess in a way. Um, anybody? Maybe. Not. Everything I'm naming. Everything I'm naming right now. I can. I can just say if if you're there, we're sharing in an experience. Bar, Bar Raffaele and um, Wonder Woman are both Israeli. I'd yes. Knock, I'd knock the sh- I ain't got it now. I don't think Wonder Woman is that awesome, but she's not no, terrible. You're talking she, about the woman who's playing Wonder Woman? Now. Yeah, she yeah. Is, she's pretty. Zal Gadot. Yeah, yeah. Gadot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's nice. Right? She, she, not, she might not be a 10 in the face, but she she makes up for it. What's her nationality? I think she's Israeli. Too thin. She's too she's thin. Israeli. She's, is, she's, she's from Israel. Yeah. 
I think she's too thin for me. I'm sorry. Just that's way too off. That's too crazy. Too thin. The only person too thin for me is 2008 Paris Hilton. <laughs> Mm. He had to put a year behind it. Easy. Mm. <laughs> well, is she thick now? Eight, is that why you said no, that? No, she was just real anorexic for a minute. <laughs> yeah. That's I don't mind really thin women. I actually like thin women. I just like what was what was the other chick that was rolling with her? That was uh, Lionel Richie. Nicole, Nicole Richie. Oh, yeah. She's she trying. Was, yeah. She was she definitely thin. She, she was real bad on the on the anorexia. Yeah. 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 Mm. But we'll be right back. I stash it on the roof. I come with them big boy toys. I'm making Gucci moves. My way bulletproof. I stash it on the roof. But I'm, all right, I'm, I'm just naming off, you know, places. Bahamas. No? I seen him do some massages out there. Mm. No Bahamas? Yeah. Virgin Island? That's that's Bahamas? Uh, that's that's home for Bareface. Let me tell everybody, my Bahamas baby. and the BI is not the same place. That's not the same thing. My bad. No. <laughs> That's like saying Oklahoma and Alabama the same place. <laughs> yes, yeah, Jamaican. Jamaican. They, they own, own, own yes. by two, two completely different colonies. Yeah, no. Haitian? No Haitian? Okay. Nobody? The Haitian women kind of. Guatemala? I worked with a couple of Guatemalans. They women short. Are we uh, going down your history path? No, I'm just, I don't know, name the country. I'm just naming the country. I think he's going down his. I think he's going down list. his list. Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Israel? Yeah, I'm just asking if y'all have been there. Israel, have you been? Have Morocco, you been to Thailand? Morocco. That's all I'm saying. Have you been Asian? to Thailand? Thailand. I heard them boys. Nah, right. This is about to say not, Thailand. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They have girls in Thailand. Don't sit there and act like they're all. They have shehees in Thailand. They have shehees in America. You ain't stop dating American women. Do you think Jeez. they call it Bangkok for nothing? Yeah. Look like a woman. I thought they did that because they were talking about guns. You think they call that <laughs> Bangkok for nothing? Hey, man, you know they have women out there. What's wrong Thank with you? you? Guys over there, them boys will love you, love you, suck you long time. Yeah. That's Vietnam, see? Wake up on that. No, you got... they do that in Thailand, too. The backside. Yeah. Hurt. You want no sucky sucky? India? No India? What no India? That? That full I couldn't do India. Uh, no, nah, I heard it's too hairy, man. Out, but I, won't, I, don't I have a me. bush. Which? They have, which, they have, they have a real about? bush. They didn't stop making razors when they got to India. They stopped oh, making AC. Have you seen how they do their street food? That's cool. Mm -hmm. You want the right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, India, y'all got to do some of that street meat videos, bro. Y'all ain't making no money. I ain't seen that. Y'all going to have to send me some of those. Yeah, bro, that's bro. tough. This fucker got an eagle talent for a big two. And he cutting your meat with that no shit. No boy with his foot? Making a rap with his toes right now. At his foot. Just that one good toe with the <laughs> eagle talent on it. He bring, he bring the chicken meat cutlet meat. to his they, toe. They don't have a health. They don't have a health department that gives ratings on those oh, man. foods. They're all oh, man. They be mixing stuff with their with their berry, with they hold on. Boy, this mixing your enchilada your with his foot, stirring the pot with his foot. They ain't playing with you over there. You go over man, there. Let's move on from them, dog. Ooh. Keep that Saudi Arabia. No, nah. Hey, Palestine got some nice ones. I mean, yeah. Palestine, we talked about Israel. That's the same place, right? It's like saying Egypt is the same place now. You know, it's not. Nah. It definitely ain't the same now. Palestine is like the same. I don't want to get into that. That's yeah, going to make me them. upset. Free yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, all right, let's go back to South America. How about Nicaragua? Nobody? What about That's Australia? Hey, I don't know. I, I, apartheid was not a good thing, but in studying apartheid, I've seen a lot of baddies. South Africa is is, is very blessed. <laughs> There's a lot of beautiful women in Africa. If you have never been, blessed. <laughs> a lot of beautiful women. Me and my wife was down there, and we were just like, "Man, that woman's gorgeous." Don't, yeah, ever, don't ever let nobody talk dirt on the name Sub Saharan. Please don't. Oh my were god! They, were they like is there art, any art, place art? on this planet they without daddies? No, no, no. I don't think that there is a place on Earth where you Antarctica? can find nothing but ugly women. I'm like, Antarctica I don't, and Greenland. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm the only two places. Show me a baddie out of India. What? Come on now! Come on! Now. Come on you now. stop it! Show me a baddie. Yeah, they yeah, had that bush okay, for you. Had that bush. Wish, you, know. you ain't seen the belly dancers out of India. Man, I mean, I seen that. That shit turned me off. You look stupid, but. What, what, what about are, everybody has their preferences? Yeah, everybody has their preferences. I don't like belly shaker. I like an ass shaker. Well, what you think is shaking in the back? 
I can't she's shaking her belly. She's yeah. shaking her booty too. Well, they don't do the belly dance reverse. I can't believe you. Didn't you just standing in the wrong Hawaiian. place. <laughs> Hawaiian. <laughs> Hawaiian is not American. That is that's American. the U.S. Man, Moen? Well, I guess that's the same. That's the U.S. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Look at that. That's a banger. Three of those are AI. I'm, I'm telling you, that's no. a bush down there. A major the, bush. The, the first one is AI. The blue <laughs> one is real. <laughs> so they got a lot of traffic down there, black. It's a major bush. All God. black. Black forest. You, go, you know you don't mind. I'm, I'm at my limit, you whores. But you know you don't mind a little weed in the grass. Shh. Hey, man. man. I, I'm not even going to ask y'all what y'all closing thoughts are because I think you've said all you can say. Man, cut that thing since birth. Bush. <laughs> I think you're gonna like this one, Nike. This this for you, Nike. This just for you. That that's an Indian. Hello. I need to know the Bush. Bush. Major Bush. No, I don't see no extra fluffage. No. Just, I uh, they, like I said, they, that's AI. They that's make, not AI. Just because it look good don't mean it fake Nike. They make sure. razors in India. Ain't nobody. That's what I'm around. saying. How do you think they send all that hair over here? I know what I'm talking about. Send yeah, with the, the yaki yeah. you said it came from Asia, came from India. Just uh -huh. listen. The bulk of that hair come from oh Indian sewers, by the way. The hair that you wear on your head, they dig it out the drains. They don't uh -huh. get the bulk of it from cutting it off the girls' heads. No, that makes up a very <laughs> small percentage of the hair you buy. You the know what? I think this comes from the drain. This is a great place to end this conversation because I just got disgusted. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of Save for the Mic. If you ever want to comment, which I'm pretty sure we're going to get a lot of comments on this one, please go to YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, subscribe, like, and follow. There you go. There you go, hey, Nike. Hold on. Hey, Nike, right up your alley right now. Yeah. Right there for Nike. Well, just for you. Move uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's real. He said, I know that ain't Oh, I better get these guys out of here before we... You know what? <laughs> you can like, share, subscribe. You can find us on Spotify, Facebook, and YouTube. Hey, and we're anywhere that a podcast plays because we are a podcast as well. Hey, don't forget... Don't forget, you can always hit us up and contact us at saveitforthemike.com. Go to the website at saveitforthemike.com. Hey, we are out of here, man. This has been Save for the Mike. I think I said it like 10 times. Peace. Thank you, got a BB. <laughs> 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 <laughs>